It's my pleasure now to invite the Chairman of the Reinsurance Brokers Association of Singapore to address us on behalf of the judging panel. Please welcome Mr. Richard Austin. Richard. Good evening. Can't hear you. Good evening. Honorable guests, distinguished fellow judges, worthy award nominees, winners to be, ladies and gentlemen, we had a little whip round at our table for Sivam's daughter. Uh, please do the same, so he won't feel too bad when he goes home. So, ladies and gentlemen, please lend me your ears. I will be less than three minutes. Most of what I have to say has probably been said already in one form or another. Anyway, another year has passed by, and you're witnessing a very special occasion tonight. The long-awaited awards presentation dinner is here again. It's great to recognize and salute excellence in the insurance industry. It's testimony that Asia is still dynamic and thriving in volatile and turbulent times. I'd like to extend hearty congratulations to the organizer, Asia Insurance Review, on the success of this worthy project. I have personally invested my faith in Asia Insurance Review since it started, and Sivam tells me I was his first client or customer. We were then both in our early 30s, and experience has taken its toll, but Sivam and I still are dreamers and the same dream as we were in the 1980s. The high degree of professionalism, professionalism shown by the organizing team and the amount of work that goes into the awards behind the scene is really impressive. You know these events don't just happen by themselves, and I salute their spirit of enterprise and hectic endeavors, especially yours, Sivam, as the leader and the inspiration behind the team. I'm delighted to see so many eminent executives from around the world at this night's awards dinner, including the VIPs and delegates from SIRC. Now, not many people know this. Somebody said that. But did you know that when the, that other than when the Singapore Formula One week is on, this is the only other time that Changi Airport private jet park is completely full. And, and, happily, and happily, we have a full house too. The awards is now in its 19th year, and it's become a milestone event with more and more candidates vying for the coveted trophies. The surge in the number of entries and the diversity of territories is also a promising indication that the region, at last, values the quest for excellence. Having been in the region for the past few decades, I can attest to the tremendous energy that exists in Asia. Change has always been our constant, and change drives the market to greater quality and inspires the market to greater innovation. This event is not possible, ladies and gentlemen, without your judges. The judging panel freely gave a massive time commitment to this event. They more than earned their keep with the amount of reading, thought, and the scoring that they have to do. But saluting excellence is a worthwhile business. You need to know that the judging process is well conceived and conducted in a highly professional and systematic manner under the watchful eye of KPMG, our independent auditors. We all strive for the process to be fair and no favoritism. Bear in mind the sheer cross-section and experience of the panel of judges of more than 30 of us. We come from all walks of the market from the region and internationally, and there are regulators in our panel. The judges have to personally go through reams of extensive round of shortlisting and a selection 
and there are tremendous amounts of thought process and provoking material to absorb and assess. Reading the submissions assures me that Asia is not only firmly on the path of growth and innovation, but I'm happy to report that individual thought is alive and well, and I have great faith the ability of individuals to excel in our insurance and reinsurance industry in Asia. Talented people help to make great companies. In late August, after months of work, we finally came to a long and demanding judging day, where we met the finalists face to face to quiz them and grill them before choosing the winners. It's always exciting to meet the candidates, some of whom are here tonight, or all of whom are probably here tonight, and to witness their passion. The executives who came to meet the judges conducted themselves impressively. Many were CEOs, attesting to the prestige of these awards and how hotly this is contested. I take this opportunity to congratulate all of the nominees and uh, those who made it to the shortlist and the exclusive list of 47 finalists. From my perspective, there are no losers, there are all winners. So let us please raise our glasses, put our hands together and salute the finalists. Please show your appreciation and acknowledge them. They are all winners. On behalf of the judging panel, I want to encourage more industry companies and individuals to take part in the awards next year. As a past award winner and CEO, I can tell you firsthand it's well worth it. Ladies and gentlemen, before I conclude, I'd like to thank all the members of the judging panel for their considerable contributions during the judging process. I also want to encourage Asia Insurance Review, Sivam, to continue this noble and iconic project of the awards. It really adds to the region's drive to produce greater professionalism in the market. Lastly, and believe me, gentlemen and ladies, the judges do not know the results. The selections are made by a secret ballot and independently audited by KPMG. We all now eagerly await the results of the 19th Asia Insurance Awards, and I wish you all a very pleasant evening and sweet dreams. Thank you, good night.